it smell good. Four. Mom's over Baghdad. Three. Good. Initialize fail. My name is Crystal Dilworth. I'm a PhD candidate in molecular neuroscience at the California Institute of Technology. Today in the fail lab, we have Dr. Clifford Johnson. Clifford is a professor of physics and astronomy at the University of Southern California. And in 2005, he won the Maxwell Medal from the Institute of Physics. Pyrotechnics. It's not just about making fire, but it's about controlling it. And that ability has served us well for centuries, giving us not just powerful tools, but entertainment. What we have here is a firecracker. If we look inside, we can see just what's needed to make a powerful explosion. Now, of course, when you burn something, it needs oxygen. And normally when you burn carbon, you actually get it from the air. But you want a fast burn. So you put inside potassium nitrate, which has the oxygen embedded in it already, so that when they burn and produce a huge amount of rapidly expanding gases, it'll explode with a huge bang. That's what's going on inside the firework. But let's take a look at what's going on inside your head. Aren't you going to need a brain? Why do we enjoy fireworks? It's because our brain's visual cortex perceives the colored lights as pleasurable visual stimulation. Unfortunately, our natural response to the explosion is to detect danger. This is the same reason that dogs shiver in fear when they hear fireworks. For us, our adult prefrontal cortex tells us that there's no immediate threat, and that allows us to enjoy the show. So let's see what happens when Homo sapiens encounters fireworks. So it looks like what happened there, one of the fireworks didn't go off properly and then it ignited all the other fireworks around and they went off in a chain reaction, which was spectacular. But I don't think they planned this one. Right, with this unexpected result, the brain should be detecting danger and the adaptive response would be to run away. But instead, he just sits there filming. Well, I actually think it's a great demonstration of pyrotechnics and the chain reaction. On second thought, maybe it is a fail. We want to know what you think. Is this a win or a fail? Also send us videos of explosions for us to analyze in the fail lab. Or follow us on Facebook, where the conversation continues. Thanks, Clifford. Always a pleasure. We'll be back next week with another clip and more science. But until then, when you're just out for a good time, but you end up endangering your family. Oh, Jesus, oh, shit. You've got psychosis.